Well, as you know, every Thursday we have our weekly feature, The Adventurer. Well, Kenya's art industry has grown exponentially from the wood carvings of the Big Five in the 1960s to visual art scene in the 2000s. But Kenyan artists still have a long way to go as some are yet to understand that in order to succeed, one must combine entrepreneurship with the artistic energy. On The Adventurer, Kitian's Ashley Mazuri speaks to Patrick Mukabi, who is helping young artists break out of poverty to, break, to actually being entrepreneurial artists. Take a look. Contemporary art in Kenya is facing challenges. There is lack of art education in most schools and local buyers in the market that stifles growth. This week on The Adventurer, we feature an entrepreneur who created a safe heaven for artists. My name is Patrick Mukabe. Um, I've been a painter for the last 18 years. Uh, for this space, it's called the Dust Depot. It's uh, exactly one year old this month. And um, we've, I formed it because uh, there was a need for young artists to find spaces. Located at the heart of Nairobi's Railway Museum, Dust Depot not only offers space to find artists, it also offers internship programs to students of Kenyatta University, Nairobi University and the Polytechnics. Mukabe grooms young artists with artists from age 9 and below coached at a small fee of 400 shillings per hour and those above age 9 pay 600 shillings per hour. And from the numbers of artists here, we sought answers on how how he markets his art studio. I usually get a lot of students because uh, of word of mouth, it's just going around. And also I have a TV show where I do a three-minute section. Exhibitions are the best, group exhibitions first. And then also now I'm online. I have a Facebook page, a gallery just for work. Mukabe's 18 years of experience have seen his paintings displayed the famous Java Eatout and earned in good returns. But yet, despite his recognition, he faces challenges too. Being called out of your piece is very common with artists also because especially somebody who's imagined they want to be known and they are willing to give out the piece easily. For any young artist, it's how to, where to show your work. Uh, how do you gauge yourself with, against other artists? Mostly parents are usually worried about uh, how the child will survive later. And being an artist has always been uh, not very clear. And if you look at uh, statistics again, they say that 2% of the students become artists. With the hurdles faced from time to time and selling paintings for as low as 3,000 shillings, Mukabe manages to make a 1.2 million turnover. I earn through selling work, most, that's the biggest one, and then I do classes again. What is his process of creating his breathtaking masterpieces? I always have to do a sketch on paper and then transfer it. So creating the composition on paper takes long. I can do like 20 drawings for it, and it can take almost a week. But when it comes to putting out on canvas, it can take between uh, three hours to three days. It takes more than creativity, patience and skills to succeed in the art business. But despite all this, more young artists are seen venturing into the industry, giving more hope into the art sector. I am Ashley Mazuri and this is The Adventurer.